across North Carolina, more than 12,000 children are currently in foster care. Tonight, Methodist Home for Children is hosting an event called First Chance for White Pants to bring awareness to the need for foster care. WNCT's Ken Watlington is emceeing tonight's event. He joins us now with more. Ken. Yeah, Angie, looking so forward to tonight's festivities. The room starting to fill up as first chance for white pants returns for the first time since 2019. Of course, because of the coronavirus, it is a benefit for the Methodist Home for Children. And to learn more about their mission, let's bring in the president and CEO of Methodist Home, Bruce Stanley. And Bruce, I met you years ago. The message you always try to hammer home is every child deserves a chance. What does that really mean as far as your mission with the Methodist Home? Ken, thank you for being with us, and we appreciate the opportunity uh, to be supported by you all and to receive the blessings and love of all this community. And every child does deserve not just a single chance, but sometimes they need more than one. And the children who come uh, into foster care generally are children who have arrived there through no fault of their own. They're coming from families where there's sick little and generational patterns of low educational achievement and low economic advancement. And these are children who really have have nothing in most cases and what they need frankly is everything that a healthy functioning family can provide. The Methodist Home helps pair those children with foster families but also helps to educate and prepare those foster families. Exactly and one of the things that anyone who is out there and interested in foster care needs to know is that if you come to Methodist Home for Children that it's not simply a matter of you coming for training that we will walk with you every step of the way and we answer the phone and if you're calling because of a teenage tantrum uh, by your foster child at 2 a.m. we will be there and we also have a lifetime commitment to put anyone who has been in foster care or adopted at Methodist Home for Children through four years of college. So we're willing to walk with you not only through the foster care process, but on beyond that. Bruce, thanks for what you do. We're looking forward to tonight. Thank you, Ken. We appreciate it. My pleasure. That's Bruce Stanley with the Methodist Home for Children. You can find more on the Methodist Home on our website at WNCT.com. We're live in Greenville. Ken Watlington, not on your side.